Hi there, I'm Matt Bin one and welcome to my most anticipated movies of 2016. Movies that I'll be looking forward to in 2016. And also, this is my first most anticipated movies of this channel. And what better to start with 2016? There's a lot of movies in 2016. And I'm already broke! Ah, look at this! Nothing in the wallet! No, no. Actually, bro, but there's crappy movies out in January all the time. But when February comes, I'll be going to the theater a lot, probably. March, May, whatever. You know what's around those movies. August, November. But I have. Thank God I got some AMC movie tickets for Christmas. Let's go see the, the first three big movies of the year that I want to see. Or I can just go see Star Wars again. Off to the theater! No, I won't do that. So, so yeah. I only picked my top favorite 10 movies of this year. Like I said before, there's a lot of movies this year I only picked my favorite top 10. Really want to go see and I'm really anxious about. So let's get to it. Starting at number 10. It's X-Men Apocalypse. I am excited to see this movie, but we do like know the kind of the ending because the, everyone survived because the ending of Days of Future Past. Everyone's okay. There is no apocalypse. I don't know why they're doing it in the 80s. Why can't they just do it in 2016 or whatever time they're in? Something like that. Yeah, but it's still pretty exciting. Brian Singer watched all of the X-Men movies before. Starting from the first one, X-Men. Yeah, but I'm still pretty excited. They should still... Some CGI yellow onto those suits. I hate that it's just all black and gray or whatever. Next one is Godzilla Resurgence. Now this is the return of the Japanese Godzilla, the, the original Godzilla, and not the one from 2014. That Godzilla will have his movie in like a like next year or in a few more years. I do know, but I don't remember. So yeah, um, I hope it's still not. If you've seen the trailer, it's like it's kind of shaky cam or. Yeah, something like that. I hope it's not like that throughout the whole movie. And I hope we get a new monster or like old monsters but in like a new form. Because you know how Godzilla is known for facing monsters throughout his films. So yeah. Cannot wait for that. Next one. So number eight is... Don't hate me for this but Rogue One A Star Wars Story. Um, yeah, I know it's so far on the bottom list. The reason why it's so far on the bottom is because, um, do we actually need, like, can we just have this kind of story on, like, Star Wars Rebels or something like that, like, for a season finale or whatever. But it's still pretty exciting to see more Star Wars, like, even though maybe some Rebels will, have, will be in the movie. Who knows? It's still excited. It's still Star Wars. I still love Star Wars. See right there? I have, I have the Force Awakens tin can from the theater. Still Star Wars, but we haven't seen a trailer or whatever. That's why it's so far. But if we do, I would move it up like that in a second. So yeah, number seven, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now this is a Harry Potter prequel, but it doesn't have any lead up to Harry Potter. It's just like it takes place way way in the past, like in the 1920s. So yeah, it's like one of Harry's books they had in Hogwarts. Like not like it's like a guy that wrote the book, and he's like. All these beasts were like gone off, and he needs to find them and stuff like that. Um, J.K. Rowling wrote, wrote herself the, the screenplay instead of like writing our book. Good on that, cause books are for nerds. And also, I like hearing that little like magical spells that they always do in Harry Potter, like Langaria and or something like that. The elf is really good. Um, I can't wait to see it. I really like Harry Potter stuff. Moving on to number six, which is also magic, Doctor Strange. Now. The reason why it's so high on this list for me because of the look of Carbash as Doctor Strange. It looks like it, the character just jumped straight out of comics and into the theater, into the cinema, the silver screen. It just makes me excited because like, like, I will read some strange comics during the summer so I can prep myself for the movie. Um, But I, I did see the, the animated movie and that was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, but he just looks like Doctor Strange from the comics, from the cartoon. I don't think he looked like that in that cartoon. I think he looked like that in some of the other cartoons, like Earth's My Heroes and um, the X Men series. Or was it X Men or Spider Man? I forget. Or was it Iron Man? I don't know. Yeah, but it looks spot on. He looks great, good, all that stuff. Cannot wait. Early Tell Bash will do a great job. And it's introducing magic for the first time. Thor is supposed to be magic, but he's really science. He's more of a science guy, or an he mentioned him, he's like more of an alien too. I don't know. He's. So, moving on to number 5, Yukio, The Dark Side of Dimensions. Now, as you can see right here, I am a major Yukio fan. I have, like, almost all the tins and, like, mostly, like, cards I want to collect or, like, play with, whatever. 
Yeah, so this movie is the 20 year anniversary movie of the, of the Yukio franchise, like, which didn't start off with cards, it's just, it was like more of a um, like dark story to it, but then each, um, the one of, Kazuku Takahara, I think I'm saying that right, um, his editor wants to know more about the card, and he, like, switched that to, like, the dark story to, like, more of a friendly kid card game, more. So, yeah, but it, we got a great game with that too when you switch that but it does the movie does look exciting there will be more cards coming out when the movie is being released even once you go to the theater I think in Japan but I don't know about that for America maybe um how they did it for the first Yukio movie that came out in, in 2003 or was it 2004 I forget the trailer does show like probably we kind of know what's happening in the movie so yeah the Pharaoh a Tim might come back and it looks like Kaiba might be working with the new villain of the movie probably or he just probably like, he does duel Yuki a lot, mostly the Pharaoh. It like but this time he's really dueling Yuki, and that's pretty exciting. And the duelist, the new duel disc does look cool. I can't accept that D gauger that they have for it. It's it's like uh, I don't care. But there's there's new Dark Magician and new Blue Eyes Red Dragon. I love Blue Eyes Red Dragons, and mostly the reason why Blue Eyes is like is one of my favorites because I like dragons, I like knights, and like dinosaurs and samurais and ninjas and everything like that. So I can't wait for this movie to come out. So number four. So next we got is Deadpool. Now, um, I do my research on like Deadpool and I really liked it how some of the things that the character does. I knew a little bit more from him from that one episode of uh, um, Ultimate Spider-Man. You know that show's not a great show, but that episode was actually pretty entertaining. I do know that he breaks the fort wall and cracks jokes and like has like a super cannon whatever they could pull out of his pants or whatever, I don't know. He knows that he's in a comic book, so in probably in this movie he probably will know he's in the movie. I don't think they're gonna like initially do that a lot, but like twice or three times, I don't know. And this movie looks like it's very going to be like a dark comedy and like very action packed. It's probably a serious story too. Yeah, it looks pretty exciting. I cannot wait for this movie. It, it's like out next month. Oh, that's awesome. So next, number three. Number three is Suicide Squad. Now I am a major Joker fan. Like I love the Joker um because of um Batman the animated series. Um Mark Hamill, along with Luke Skywalker, um does a fantastic job. Like he made me like the character and like all his like dark jokes, the way he does does things like, very dark. I know he's not the snap part of Suicide Squad. It's just like I just like the Joker really much. And I do like Harley Quinn and like that's probably the only one I know from the Suicide Squad and I'm very excited to see her on screen for the first time. And we got a lot of other like first timers to be on screen as well. I think the only one that hasn't been on screen is Joker. I think so, yeah. I'm a little disappointed in Chris Croc because like I seen from the um, the Batman game, um, Dark Arkham Knight one, he's like a massive alligator and this one's just like I don't know, like a ninja turtle or whatever, I don't know. I want him to be bigger, but it does look exciting. I can't wait to see what they're gonna be doing, like obviously tracking down Joker. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a great fun movie. So number two. Now, there is no number two. For my first time of doing my most anticipated movies, what? There's no number two? I couldn't decide to pick which one of these movies is to be number one or number two. It, I'm just excited for both of them. Even though one's probably revealed a little too much, but let's go a little, a little bit more of honorable mentions. I'm still looking forward to seeing um, others. Finding Dory, there's um, Independence Day Resurgence, like two Resurgence movies coming out this year. And the all female Ghostbusters, um, there's Star Trek Beyond, there's um, what else? There's a lot of movies. Um, is Gambit still happening? I think so, I don't know. The Conjuring 2, there's more, there's more, there's a lot more. I can't remember all of them all off the top of my head. There's Warcraft, but um, let me see, I don't remember that much. Let's get to it. Oh, well, are these two movies? Like, obviously, it's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Captain America Civil War. I mean, come on, these are the most anticipated movies of 2016. So we're seeing Batman and Superman on the silver screen for the first time. That's exciting and they're gonna beat each other up for like probably an hour and then team up for 20 minutes. That's going to be awesome and beat up a uh, one villain or two. Like we've seen Doomsday but we still could see more villains or who knows. But it's still pretty exciting. In Captain America Civil War we've seen Captain America and Iron Man together in, in Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron, and now they're gonna beat each other up for like, I don't know, an hour or 20 minutes? I don't know, probably. I don't know, it's, it looks like they're gonna beat each other up 
probably in the beginning of the third act or yeah probably or the end of the third act i don't know so but if i had to choose which one will be in my number two slot if i had to choose um it'd probably be batman v superman because um it's freaking doomsday still it's still a downgrader if they don't show anything else but it's still pretty exciting i still still want to see these movies so check out my other videos i did of um best and favorite movies of 2015 and they also did like what was horrible what was annoying of 2015 so what are your favorite so what are your anticipated movies of 2016 please leave a comment down below and give me a like it really helps me out and subscribe for more videos and those videos that i talk about will be right here and go check them out if you want to i've been matching one and explosion <laughs>